Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> On today's episode, we have two badass entrepreneurs, mompreneurs, mm-hmm. if you will. Yes. Local to us, and we are in the Milton area. Um, Carrie is the owner and artistic director. I'm giving her that title. I hope you enjoy it, Carrie. Of Hand to Heart Jewelry. It's hand stamp jewelry. It's beautiful. Really, really nice stuff. And then her bestie, Krista, is also with us. And she is the owner and head baker at CC's Cupcakes. Cupcakes. So good. Also makes cakes. Also beautiful makes cakes. cakes. Yes. Yeah. And keto, delicious ketos. And does vegan desserts. cupcakes. Yeah. Gluten free cupcakes. Yeah. Yeah. She does everything. And this is the episode, if you've been following us, we had a video of a blooper where we had affixed a camera to record to my wall of the kitchen and it all went wrong. Mm -hmm. So good times. we're a podcast (laughs) on a budget. But we're talking about everything like that has to do with being a mom and running a business uh, because both of them are extremely successful at doing it. And I know that a lot of moms today strive to have that sort of success and mm-hmm. be able to self-employment yeah stay at home your and moms. you know have a badass business so it's a great episode i really really love talking to both of them it was a lot of fun plus we got cupcakes yes that was so good <laughs> so good and not a lot of child interaction in this no this episode, one was a good one so that was yeah, interesting I don't think there are any children a in this one different <laughs> we had technical difficulties but no screaming so that was great So enjoy, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. You're listening to the Momsplanation. Real life. Real moms. Real talk. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode five of the Momsplanation podcast. Today we have the beautiful Krista and Carrie in the house with us today. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Hey. (laughs) So you guys are friends, yes? Yes, we are. Maybe. Most days? Most days. <laughs> We're always friends. Friends, small business owners, moms. Yes. yes. How many kids do you have between the two of you? Well, we have five. Yeah. Yes. So you have two? Yeah, I Carrie have two. Carrie has two. Human. How old are you? And two cats. Human kids? Or... <laughs> and she has two dogs. <laughs> oh, so we're pet moms, okay. too. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So but you it's have... very much cat mom versus dog mom. Yeah. Oh, we, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm so not into dogs, and she's so not into cats. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yes. Yeah. So how many cats do you have? Are you a crazy Two. cat lady? Yeah. No. So, oh, you are but crazy. But I told my kids, like, the, yeah, my, if, if it was up to my kids, they'd have, like, five cats. Okay. And I'm totally down So you're raising a new generation of crazy cat ladies. Absolutely. Okay, good. Absolutely. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. How old are your kids? Uh, nine and seven. Okay. Only two? No, yeah. Not having any more? No. <laughs> Did, was that decided from the beginning? I'm just going to have You know what? Uh, my husband and I were kind of like the only people that we've ever heard of. That like when we, Even when we were dating, we only actually wanted one child. We were just mm. so... Are you only children? Is that why? No, but we're both first children. Okay. And I think yeah. we kind of all just wanted to be left alone our whole lives. <laughs> so even when we were dating, we're like, we're just going to have one. This is cool. Yeah. And we always just, like, we always said it. So I think the conversation that most people have, like, after two, if they're going to have it, like, we kind of had that after the first. Because right after I had her, I was like, I think I'm going to want another one. And he's okay. like, okay, but just wait. Like, you, you know, like, who knows? Yeah. And the whole time I kept on just saying, yeah, like, I already know. Was she an easy baby? Is that why? Um... She was okay. When I had my second, my second was a lot easier. So okay, then, like, nice. I knew the difference. Like, yeah. So yeah, she wasn't well, as easy as nice. I thought. Um, but no, I don't know. There's just something inside. You know, just as a mom, you just know, yeah. kind of. Mm-hmm. I think you just know if, if you're done or not. Right. Like, oh, yeah. To totally. Inside, right. Yeah. And I yeah. just knew then, like, I wasn't. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So we had that convo. So, like, already the two, like, that's basically how I coached myself through my labor. Yeah. Was me telling myself, like, Carrie, this is the last Tommy to do this. Like, yeah. get through this. You can do yeah. this. You never have to do this again. Like, li- like literally, that's what I'm saying to myself over yeah. and over again. Yeah. So, so I already knew. Yeah, I looked at Daniel when we had our fourth, and I looked at him while I was in labor, and I was like, I want you to clearly understand that I am <laughs> never doing Done. this again. And he was like, sure, sure. And I was like, no, no, <laughs> I'm never doing yeah. it again. Understand this. <laughs> so funny. So you have three. I do. So you're girls. Yes. yes. Two girls. And She's you are three. All boys. All oh boys. Yeah. Yeah. So we basically live opposite left. <laughs> yes. And are and your, your boys are... Nine, nine, okay. Seven and three. Okay. 
Um, Are you done having kids? That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Some days I am very done, um, especially mornings. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But then um, once you're in school. <laughs> what's the, what's, yeah, like until they get home, I yeah. feel like I can have like 10. Right. But then they get home and I'm like, yeah, I'm done. But yeah. no, it's not a hundred percent off the table. Yeah. Um, but I would say ninety percent. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. So you and I have similar experience. We've had relationships mm-hmm. that haven't worked out, started new relationships yes. with people. So the, the man you're in a relationship with yes. doesn't have his own kids. No. He so doesn't. that was like me with Daniel. He didn't have his yeah. own kids, and that's why I decided to go for two. Yeah. Three so. And four. <laughs> yeah. Two and three. Yeah. Oh. How many do I have? How many kids do I have? Yeah. So Greg, yeah, he did want um, his own. Yes. <laughs> that was a big thing in the beginning. Yeah. And then once he kind of just fell and fit into our family, yes. Um, he, it doesn't matter to him either way, to be honest. He yeah. can be done. Yeah. Um, but uh, I long for that girl. Yeah. That I think that is the thing. I'm really mourning not having a daughter. Yeah. Um, but again, there's no guarantee. So it's, it's up in the air. Cause I'm like, do I want to try and will yeah. I be okay? Cause the worry is like yeah. with the last, with my last son, yes, I actually did like have a mental breakdown yeah. when it was, when I knew and I was like, this would be my last. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was a boy. It was really, really hard for me. Yeah. So who knows though? Yeah. So if you had the four and it was a boy, what, do you feel like that would be it for I would you? be getting my tubes tied yeah. in there. Yeah. <laughs> it would be done yeah. right away. Yeah. 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 There would not be another. I tried to. twin boys. If it was twin boys. <laughs> it's really pushing it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I would actually probably check myself out of the hospital <laughs> and leave <laughs> Greg in there. <laughs> like, oh see you God. later. No, I honestly do not even want to think about that. Yeah, that would be, that's what I thought about when I found out I was pregnant with Forbes. I was like, I, if this is twins, I'm going to die because he wasn't planned. Like it just happened. And I was like, um, holy fuck. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Yeah. And as you get older, your chances just increase. Right. Yeah. And it's like, which is terrifying. Like why does nature do that to you? Like why would be, yeah, yeah, it's (laughs) really, really awful. Life and patience. Yeah. Yeah. Here's two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I remember thinking when I had Caleb, like I was, Caleb's my oldest and I was 24 when he was born Mm -hmm. and thinking like, oh, this is really pretty okay. Like uh, this is pretty easy. I loved going to the park. I loved doing all that stuff. And now I'm dragging my ass. Mm -hmm. Like I'm dragging, and I'm going because I just need fresh air and for her not to be eating soap from the bathroom for 20 minutes. Do you know what I mean? I know. I look back and I'm like, how did I, how was I so like on, like, Yeah, I had so much more energy and yeah. patient and like the stuff I was in, like I yeah. could not do that now. No, it's a different experience. Or I would for just sure. they be drain different. you. Like I love them to death, but yeah. to be honest, like they drain you. Yes. They suck every last bit of energy mm-hmm. out of your body. Sometimes I sit in the, in my home and think Am I the only one that looks at the clock for the majority of the day (laughs) and calculates how much time I have till bedtime? Like, am I the only one that does this? Mm -mm. But I feel like a terrible person because I'm like, I'm sitting here and my kids are really adorable, but fuck, (laughs) how much time? Like, I can't, I I can't wait, you know? And I was, the other day, I was just talking to my daughter and she's, you know, seven. So she's like, the dialogue has changed so much. And I'm sure you know, because you have older girls too. They become like these very mature, like Mm -hmm. beings very quickly. I feel like almost overnight. And I, you know, she was like, you know, you're a really nice mom. And I was like, oh, thanks. That's (laughs) great. Nice. I'll take it. She's like, you don't really yell. And I was like, oh, okay. And she's like, but you whine, mom. (laughs) I was like, oh, this is interesting. And I was like, when do I whine? She's like, well, like, you know, when you're having a shower and we want to ask you a question, I'm like, oh, so when mommy's trying to have some sort of alone time and I don't yeah. get it, yeah, she's like, whine. she's like, yeah, you're like, oh, I'm just trying to have a shower. I'm like, oh, this is very interesting that my seven year old is like giving me like a reenactment of how 
But it's because I'm in the shower that I don't want to have, you know, a chat yeah. with her. Yeah. Don't or you remember though her. when you were younger and your mom would always say, "You wait till you become a mother," mm-hmm. and you're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And now I look back and I'm like, "Oh my god." Yeah. And now I'm I get so it. sorry. Yeah. Like, yeah. I get that you wanted to take a shower alone yeah. and didn't want me. Yeah. In the bathroom asking yeah. where things were. Yeah. I, get it. I just wonder, like, when because I got to the point where I had personal space, like because mm-hmm. my kids were a little bit older, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. you know they were still, you know, they're demanding at any age, but. Now that I'm back to babies, it's like, oh my God, what was I thinking, you know? <laughs> That's what scares me, going back to truly. that. Yeah. yeah, the diapers, mm-hmm. the, and my, like, my youngest daughter is a real test of my patience <laughs> because she is, it's like having a crazy boy in the house, <laughs> like that's, you know, she's not anything. I don't know if your girls were like very relaxed or, but my oldest daughter was very easy. Yeah. yeah. Like easy going. Like your she wasn't getting chill, into yeah. things. My two year old is insane. Like insane. So it's like. It's the I third can't. child. The third child. Yeah, we child. were talking about that. Yeah, we the were. Third child syndrome. It's, he's feral. Yeah. He is like a wild animal and yeah. he doesn't stop ever, ever. He doesn't stop. He climbs yeah. everything. Yeah. He beats up the other two. Like, he just knows that he's the baby, and yeah. he runs with it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, maybe if you had another baby, it would put mm-hmm. him in his place. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or you'd find that baby know. hanging from the shower curtain yeah. or something. Yeah, that would be it. Oh. That would be it. Yeah, he... <laughs> That's so funny. So how long have you guys been friends? I see... Are you guys wearing the same necklace? I just need to take yeah, a minute. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, Her stuff's awesome. Yeah, Honestly, it is. It yeah, is I love it sure. all. So how long have you guys been friends? I had that video uh, yesterday. Did you see that video on Facebook? It was the no. friend, our friend anniversary. Oh, isn't oh, isn't, that, years. isn't yes. that how? Isn't it funny how like Facebook has become the staple yeah. for remembering that when you met people? people. Days too. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm totally. like, oh my god, yeah. I don't really am on Facebook anymore, but it really mm-hmm. comes in handy with stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Happy birthday. It's yeah. like, oh, I'm so thoughtful. <laughs> I'm remembering yeah. people's yeah. birthday, but really, Amazing. like, it's Facebook that's telling me. Yeah. So yeah. did you guys meet in Milton? Like our yeah yeah okay. I think we already had we already had our first. Yes. Yes, we already okay. had our first. I think yeah. I think we did cupcakes for yeah. She used to like I used to get her to do the cupcakes and cakes mm-hmm. and stuff like that. How and long have you been doing the cupcakes and cakes? Nine Sorry years. to interrupt you. Nine, nine years. years. Yeah, okay. It just it, yeah. Right after my first his first birthday, and I yeah. ordered his cake. Yeah. And it was like a fortune. <laughs> okay. And I was like, I can do this. I can totally do this. Yeah. And I do have a background in culinary. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to try this and run with it. And then, okay. yeah. So you guys became friends through her business. It was kind, kind of, of, it was just kind of like, it was really different like, stuff. I guess it was kind of like organically. Like, I don't even know. Like, I can't pinpoint. I can't pinpoint. No. Okay. When it happened, even when we even got each other's numbers. Like, I don't even remember no. how it happened. Really? No, I don't. But. I can't remember anything really past yeah, yesterday. That's the problem, but. Too. <laughs> it's the mommy short yeah. to long term memory that's loss. The issue. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, it just happened naturally that like I can't even really no. remember. I know exactly. we did have our first, but they were young. Like they were little. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So you've been through a lot together, obviously, mm-hmm. over yeah. the years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. How important do you think it is? Like, I know for me. I rely heavily on my friendship with Emily. She's my best friend. You know, she's the person that I know I can go to with, you know, all the ugly crap that other people would look at me and say, like, are you fucked? Like, should I call 911? Are you, do I need to call CAS? Are your children alive? (laughs) You know, not that I'm a psycho, but like, I know I can go to her and say things that, that are, Mm -hmm. you know, she's a safe place for me, which I need. Mm -hmm. Do you find that that's, True oh, for you guys? Yeah, like there's, yeah. there's times when I say stuff and then I'll text her and I don't get a response. And I'm like, oh shit, was I supposed to, she like, is that not okay? Like driving or and then she's like, oh yeah, I did that last week. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so true though, yeah. right? You it's need like, yeah. that. Like you, yeah, this for me, no, judgment, no for sure. and I don't have like, I have a lot of, like a big circle, but mm-hmm. not a lot of people that I would actually say are friends because I, I have a hard time trusting mm-hmm. people. Um, yeah. But I do, like I can maybe count on one hand the people that I can yeah. go to, um, yeah. but it's so important. Like there's days when like you just shut down and you need to have that outlet yeah. in, this, in that safe kind of like friendship. Yeah. 
I know for me, if I'm feeling, you know, really like stuck in my shit or like, you know, almost desperate or Mm -hmm. some sort of despair because of whatever has happened Mm -hmm. in my day. Um, you know, it's great for me to have a friend that checks in, right? Mm -hmm. Like that says like, how are you doing? What is happening? And that's the nice thing. Like, you know, we don't have to, like sometimes we go like a week and then then, then it's okay. Like you just know, right? Like, yeah. Because I'm not good at, um, like, I have another friend that I'm very close with, and she'll message me almost, like, daily checking in, and I love it. Yeah. But I'm not that person. Like, I, I'm yeah, not good yeah. at that. Like, we don't even say hi. We're just like, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. kind of, and, yeah. and that's yeah. the comfort, right? But then, you, yeah. like I said, the other person that I can think of like that, it's more, you know, it's not as organic. It's just yes. really comforting and caring, but yeah. um, there's expectations, there's really no expectations. No. And, and I think, too, like, the we have, like, similar, like, upbringings. And ba- like yeah, we, struggles. We, yeah, <laughs> like, we left homes, like, young. To, yeah. Like, so we kind of, we kind of are the same way in, like, that sense, like, we're not necessarily, like, used to somebody always, like, checking in on us. And, like, yeah. Oh, like, right, yeah. so, like, I'm not that yeah. type of friend mm-hmm. either because yeah. I don't know if I would even really like that. Right, yeah, yeah. Respond absolutely. Well. Yeah, because I'm not yeah. used to yeah. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. So I think maybe that's why, too. Yeah. Just, yeah. Like, I I mean, for me, like, my life is too busy. I can't be a high-maintenance friend. Like, I can't. I have too much going on. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know. I get anxiety about it. Like, because I know that I have friends that do check in, like, a lot. Yeah. And I just, I feel bad because I'm like, I can't be that. But then Mm -hmm. I don't want them to feel like I don't care because I do. And there's so many people, like, as I'm working during the day, for example, I'll think about this person Mm -hmm. and this person and this person. Right? I and I want to check in with them, I'll but I'm it. just... I'll do it later. Yeah. yeah you just, you just, yeah. as sad as it is, I don't have the time. No. And then I feel bad when, like, somebody does, my, and then they do message me, and I'm like, oh my God, I was just thinking about you. And yeah. Then, like, I'm they like, probably I think really you're lying. Really <laughs> <think I'm lying. laughs> I, like, genuinely I was. was. Yeah. Like, I told one of my friends that I used to work with, I'm like, I literally have thought about you for some reason. Like, you yeah. just crossed my mind. Yeah. Like, every day this week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yet, like, I didn't actually take the next step and, like, message you. Yeah. For me, too, I, like, sometimes I don't because I don't have time to have a full conversation. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I want you to know that I'm thinking about you or, like, you know, I remembered something, but I can't, I can't go back and forth and I don't want to ignore you. So sometimes I just Mm -hmm. don't do it. It's just easier to, like, not. Mm. It's it's the mom brain too though because mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. I don't know about you guys but it's like the multitasking mind like I'll be doing something and then I'm thinking about someone but it's yeah. like I can't talk to you right now yeah. so it's like but I'm thinking about I'm you I'm putting it out in the world you. that I'm thinking about you I hope you get it yeah but there have been women in my life that I have started friendships with who I cannot you know commit to no. a serious, you know, relationship essentially. It's really what it is. Like yeah. I can only commit to the people that live in my home yeah. full time, yes. really. Yes. And even they then. yeah, even then, like sometimes not. Um but like, you know, they don't accept that, right? And yeah. I find especially yeah. if they don't have children, mm-hmm. that's yeah. when or they like, have they like can't or they have one one which which yeah. is understandable too yeah. right like you're still busy every mom is busy I don't yes. care like if you have one kid Absolutely. or twenty kids yes but the more kids you have the struggle is more because you are totally. spreading yourself yeah. just that much more thin yeah. yeah yeah I think that if there was some sort of technology where I could duplicate myself mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I would like pay mm-hmm. heavily yeah. for that mm-hmm. and then you feel yeah. guilty too like I really yeah. feel bad like that I feel like I don't see like my extended family or mm-hmm. my friends as right. much as I should yeah I actually yeah. feel like yeah. yeah like she was saying like it used to give me like anxiety about it mm-hmm. and yeah. kind of like trying to just yeah be nicer to myself about of it course. and just be like it's okay but I do I do want to like that's always been a goal of mine mm-hmm. to like try sure. to spend mm-hmm. more yeah but time. when you think when you break it down and you think about how many people you have to do that with like yeah. your family and your and it's like how am I going to do this how yeah. am I going to yeah. con- connect with everybody right like, yeah. you want to but but you know what I feel like people that really know you and care for you they understand oh for sure yeah. they yeah. have for to sure. and then the ones who don't understand weren't really meant to be there yeah I, I totally yeah. subscribe to that mentality because mm-hmm. I you know I think every mom is like this but I'm, I'm so good at guilting myself yeah. into mm-hmm. feeling badly for what I didn't do mm-hmm. but 
what I try to do is look at like at the end of the day, I have four dependents yeah. that rely on me for life. Sometimes five. Yeah. Sometimes five. Yeah. yeah. A lot of times five. Yeah. Um, but you know, like I'm doing the best that I can. Mm-hmm. And if they're all alive and happy, then I've done something right. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry that you're offended by me, you know, not responding right away mm-hmm. or, you know, not taking the yeah. time because I didn't have it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I appreciate people in my life yeah. that like Emily that are just there. Yeah. That will say, like, how's it going? I haven't heard from you, like, in a week. Like, Mm -hmm. you know. Or, or, like, you know. Are you alive? Do you need wine? My my daughter's diaper just exploded. Is this normal? Like, you know, like, just that, you know, random thing. So you both have small businesses, right, that you run. I don't know. Would you call your small? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still call it a small business. It's just me. So, so I only have like one person that once in a while I pay to help me. The reason I ask you this is because I look like at people's Instagram, right? Because we started an Instagram page and it's like, you know, you're trying to get followers and it's like, how do you get followers? Like what, how does this happen? So I like, you know, I always look at, you know, local businesses in town and you have like a billion. Mm -hmm. So that's why I ask if you feel like it's still small because, and then you have, who is the lady that you posted the picture of at the, with the fancy dress and the gala? Oh, John Noel. She was on the Real Housewives of Toronto. Right. So she's wearing her stuff. I just met her organically at like an event and then she contacted me and asked me like to make her stuff. So, that's amazing. I kind of did it in so, exchange for. I assumed she was going to wear it, and yeah. yeah, I like that she actually genuinely likes it. Like I check, like I see her stories, and she's like wearing it, like mm-hmm. when she's just out with her son. Like, yeah, so amazing. Awesome. Like, it makes me feel good too that she just genuinely likes yeah. it. Well, your stuff is beautiful. Um, so, mm-hmm. hand to heart jewelry is your small business. I'm yeah. putting it in quotations because <laughs> I, I'm not convinced it's small anymore, which is amazing for you. So, how long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing it, uh, for about six years. Okay. What is the inspiration behind this? Um, I actually just started doing it, um, because I wanted to make my, like my friends gifts. So okay. I never, I didn't start doing it with the intention of a business. Okay. To be honest. Were you working actually, at the time? Yeah. I actually only quit my full-time job last year. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I was working at the same place for like 15 years. Okay. So I actually just, this has kind of been a journey. I <laughs> just heard about it. Like. <laughs> Every half and day until the day I quit, like, which I, I you know, I, <laughs> it's been, it's been a it's big the thing. the saga. Yeah, like, you know, so, yeah, it just sort of started off like that, just making gifts, and then somebody was like, you know, I've been referring my friends to you, like, maybe it'd be easier if you just did, like, I need a Facebook page, just so, like, I yeah. can, like, it's easier for me to send my friends, like, a link right. to that. So then I did the yeah. Facebook page, Yeah. and then I was like, okay, maybe I'll just throw them up on Etsy. Because okay. it's like 20 cents a listing, I have nothing to lose. So right. I just threw them up on Etsy, and then they started selling on Etsy too. Yeah. Um, and then my Facebook page eventually just um, grew, and then I got like busier and busier. Yeah. Um, and then eventually I decided to do a website, because um, Etsy, I only charge just 20 cents a listing, but then they do charge a hefty like transaction fee and so oh, they do when you get to okay. when you start to get super busy yeah. it's actually more cost effective to create your own website and have and pay for hosting then then yeah. okay. do the Etsy so I okay. still just have like a few of like my popular items on Etsy for people who are just there to put right. something off there yeah um but then I did my own website after that okay yeah but Amazing. it was really like it's definitely been a journey and it's a yeah <laughs> so what is it like being a mom right yeah. Having a full time job like you did, yeah. having a small business yeah, to it was insane. like, how do you manage that time? It was don't like, sugarcoat it. Oh, I would, yeah, <laughs> yeah, seriously, I have a nervous breakdown. Okay, definitely, most definitely. Like something had to change in my like, life. Like, are you I staying up all night yeah. making these things? I would stay up till probably one, two o'clock in the morning. I'd wake up at five o'clock in the morning to go to work. So oh, I was getting like I was going on no sleep. Okay, um, and I felt like I was literally going through life and not enjoying anything. Right. Because I, like, anything. Like, okay. I wasn't enjoying my time with my kids. I wasn't enjoying taking them to anything. Because the whole time, I'm just like, oh, my God, that could be at home working. Like, I need to, I have all these orders, and I need to do this. And I literally was not enjoying anything. Right. At all. Yeah. Um, but it was a, it was a big deal for me to quit because I had worked there for so long and really, like, I worked so hard to get where I was mm-hmm. and where I thought that I wanted to be. Right. And I finally kind of got there. Like in your career, you mean? Yes. And I kind of Mm -hmm. like, you know, and so I was kind of like, well, I can't leave. Like, this is what I've always kind of wanted. And I worked so hard for it. Yeah. Um, And another big thing 
too, for me, was to be very independent from my husband. So I've actually, right. like, I've never really been, our whole marriage, I was never really, like, allowed myself to be really vulnerable or really, like, he used to tell me, like, you make me feel like you could, like, I could leave tomorrow and you'd just be good. And I'm like, yeah, yeah I would be good. Yeah. I, like, <laughs> I set myself up. Yeah. Like, basically, just so that way, like, we never shared money. We never did, like, everything was just so separate. Right. So, yeah. I was also scared to be vulnerable yeah. with him. Yeah. And even after all those years. Yeah. Yeah. It was just something, it was just, it's just the way I chose to live my life. For sure. That, it was just my, it's my own, obviously, issues. I, I can <laughs> totally identify with it. I um, I because totally I would tell other people, it. and they think I'm literally insane. Like, everybody, like none of my other friends like lived their life like that and everybody thought it was crazy. Um, yeah. So I kind of made it that way. And so I, I knew that that would have to change too. Right. Just be all these changes. But at the yeah. same time, I knew I couldn't continue. Like I was, I ended up like, I was like crying every night. Like he would come home from work and I'm like making jewelry and like tears are just coming down my face. And he's like, is everything okay? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, it's fine. I'm fine. And I would, yeah. would just be working. I used to get these orders done and then go yeah. to sleep. And so, and he was even like, you know, you need to, like, I'll something you, has to no give, what, right? You need mm-hmm. to make that change. Like, nobody can make that yeah. decision for you. So, yeah. I right. initially asked for an unpaid leave of absence. Yeah. Um, even though, I guess, technically, I could have gone off on leave because I was literally at the point of a nervous breakdown. Right. But I yeah. just asked for an unpaid leave. I took that and then. And then I called them and told them I was never coming back. Even after the first month, I was like, oh, my God, yeah. so much of my stress. Like, I was still stressed. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I still had anxiety, different, which I still yes. do. But it's just a different type. It was like just right. everything crashing down right. on me. So that part was a lot better yeah. um, for me. So, But it was definitely a long journey. Like, yeah. I didn't even consider, like... I didn't even think that that would be a possibility for me until like two years before I did it. So then those next two years was basically me like coming to terms with and that I need to make a decision Yeah, because I just can't continue my life like this anymore. And do you feel like you have more joy and pride out of what you're doing today versus what you were doing before? Yeah, definitely. And I'm just happier in general. Yeah. Um, I was telling Krista, like we were talking about happiness the other day after like... (laughs) <laughs> after our dinner and sangria and stuff and I was like you know I don't know I definitely it's not what I thought it was going to be though yeah <laughs> much like everything right like yeah. I, yeah initially I was like oh my god like all the, like this these eight hours I could spend on my business and this would be like amazing like look yes. how much I'm going to get done I yeah. get like nothing done. <laughs> not nothing done. like hardly anything done yeah during yeah. the day I'm yeah. still working at night yes I basically just moved everything I was doing in the evening to during the day, but right. it does help out my family because then yes. I'm not stressed out and I'm not running around and I'm not like, and you, you know, so more time with your kids, exactly. obviously. Yeah. So I'm, so I'm definitely, yeah, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. <laughs> it never Pers- is. Perspective no. is so funny like yeah. that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, so I had to come to terms with that too. So Mm -hmm. I still wasn't necessarily, it's not like I quit my job and I was like, oh my God, I'm like so much happier now. And this is amazing. Yeah. I definitely, it's been a roller coaster. Some months I was like, I've doubted myself and I was like thinking maybe I should go back. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. maybe this isn't for me. Yeah. Especially in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's just because it's a summer. My other girlfriend also, like, she yeah. used to have a business and she sold it and now she does stuff from home. But she was like, oh, that's just because it's your first summer with yeah. the kids at yeah. home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's like, I went through that too. Like, it'll get better. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, it was, yeah, it was not, again, not the summer I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be of this course. super enjoyable summer. And yeah. 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 No. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's definitely been a roller coaster, lots of ups and downs, but yeah. I don't regret my decision at all. Good. But, um, but yeah, but it just hasn't, it definitely wasn't like this, like walk in the park. No. Of, yeah. Well, even for me going from working full time to being a stay at home mom, uh, not, not what I thought it yeah. was going to be. Right? No. No. Like, I lost, I've lost. i lost my identity. Like, even today, like, as we sit here and talk, mm-hmm. like, I'm still trying to find who I am mm-hmm. not as a mother. Yeah. yeah. Like, mm-hmm. as my own person. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's like, I thought, you know, stay-at-home mom, you know, I'm thinking, like, things you see on Pinterest and, like, <laughs> lots of fun no, and, you know, no. like, 
uh, you know, painting going out, you know, and I have <laughs> memories of nice summers with my kids when I was working because I would take a week or mm-hmm. 10 yes. days off and we'd go and do something fun and it was lovely. And then I would go back to work and they would go to whatever yeah. camp or their dads or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it was so relaxing. And now it's like every day. It's like, what are we doing today? Where yeah. are we going? Uh-huh. Oh, they have oh, such high I, expectations. Oh yeah, always you know, of like of like entertainment. Yeah. yeah, it's like I can't entertain. I remember you growing all day. up, like you know, my mom was a single mom for so long, and like we had one thing to look forward to over the summer. And it was like a day trip. Yeah, it was like we were going on a day trip, and the rest of the time it was like sent to my grandparents. Like, but yeah. now they want yeah, to do something too. every yeah. day. Yeah, where yeah. are you yes. taking me today? Yeah. Like, I'm my bored. parents were big yeah. about like go outside. Yeah, like yeah, that was the did. message yeah. when I was young. Yeah. It was yeah. like, what are we? doing today go oh outside. you're going outside if you want to do something <laughs> yeah. it's like oh okay yeah. i'm going outside you know i'm yeah, playing with the kids on the street yeah yeah I figured it out. but yeah i can totally identify with that with what you're saying yeah. about like perception of like mm-hmm. you look at things from the outside and think like oh it's going to be this way and then you're in it and it's like oh no you know this is not how it is no. yeah. not how it is like at it's all like never what you think it's going to be but yeah. you somehow you trick yourself in your head <laughs> yeah being like yeah. You know, like you yeah. see, like you were saying, and you follow other people or you like, yeah. you know, you read other people's blogs and you think, oh, okay, like this is what it's going to be yeah. like. Yeah. And then you're like, that's oh, all no. so not real. <laughs> but it's though. so funny, right? Because you look at people's like Instagram is a huge one, obviously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so like me looking at your Instagram and just knowing you sort of casually through mm-hmm. social media and other people, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, I would think like you've got it super together and you know, you've got, you know, this hugely successful business and you must be so we, happy yeah. and joyful all the time and proud of yourself yeah. and it's like well when you actually get to meet people that's not always yeah. well we had this conversation case, recently right? about social media how like you just pick your best times and you post that right. yes right yeah. you're not posting your that's not your whole life it's highlights. Yes. yeah it's, highlight it's just real. a highlight exactly yeah but it's people definitely perceive because yeah. i think it's human nature that we compare <laughs> ourselves to other yeah. people yeah. right yeah. that it's like oh this person mm-hmm. really has their shit together and i don't <laughs> right yeah. until you make yeah. it do you know what yeah. i mean <laughs> yeah I think too, that's my really motto hard. honestly it's really hard to like i'm such an introvert and i'm like actually like a really shy person and I kind of am a very private person too. So okay. even though, like, let's say at my work, I worked there for 15 years and I had lots of real yeah. friendships, real relationships I've developed over those years. Yeah. However, when it was a time for me to leave, like, and I was started to sort of open up to some people and be like, you know, I was at the point of like a nervous breakdown and right. I was like that. People were so surprised because I'm mm-hmm. such a private person. So also too, it's not even just me wanting to show this image it's just who i am like yes. i'm just guarded right and so i would didn't come to work like you know, a mess. crying and yeah. saying oh my god you know i only got three hours sleep yeah no. um and i hate my life right now i wasn't saying that i just wouldn't say anything to anybody right right and yeah. so i think a lot of like my friends from work were so like shocked, shocked and they're yeah. like, oh my yeah. god like i can't believe that you went that you were going through that yeah like, we had no idea but yeah. it's not like i'm trying to hide it to like have this image or to like you know, yeah. like fool people. It's just I'm just a private person right. in general. Yeah. So people just you it's, know make their own assumptions. Right. It's perception. Perception. Yeah. Perception is everything. Right. Yeah. Like people could look at you and think that it's one way, and then find mm-hmm. out it's not, and be like, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. That's, but that's I really, crazy. that I kind of did feel bad after that because I was like, I don't want people to think that I'm like pretending or like you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, like you're I like, don't want people to feel bad about themselves. No. You yeah. know, just because of like because they think a certain way of me, like that I have it all together or something. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, like you're like putting on a show yeah, to fool exactly. them or like make exactly. them put them down yeah yeah but I think it's nice that social media is kind of changing right now where people are encouraging um others to show those not so pretty it's it's happening yeah like it's definitely shifting for Mm -hmm. sure for sure yeah yeah. But I mean, there's still so much uh, for me anyways. And the thing that scares me about social media is like for my daughter. And I don't yes. know if you feel this way, but like, you know, she's starting to be more aware of mm-hmm. things like Instagram and like wanting to look mm-hmm. and like, you know, I know it's going to happen soon where she's going to ask. I, you have an oh, older she's daughter. Asked, but yeah. It's absolutely not. Yeah. yeah she's already, she wants her own Instagram. Yeah. Already handled. And she, oh, she thinks she's going to be famous, which I mean, she is, yeah. she is. But, um, but she was like trying to actually, she had this whole angle remember she was like yeah. well because she really enjoys acting so she's like well i'm gonna be yes. like, i'm gonna be famous i'm gonna be an actress so right. i mean i need to get my own instagram handle now mm-hmm. because the problem right now is the fan accounts 
So when you get famous, if you haven't got your handle, yes. they're going to create it for me, and then I have no control over right. my own name. So that's why I need it. And she's right nine. Now. Yeah, amazing. Oh my so <laughs> yeah. how terrifying is yes. this? Yes, right? Like, oh okay, God. well, you know, you're not wrong. Yes. but <laughs> you're nine. You're, you're still nine. It's not happening. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I just yeah, feel like there's, great. you know, so much overt expectations placed on women through social media mm-hmm. that I want to shelter her from. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just, I don't want her to, yeah. I want her to be who she is. I want her to feel mm-hmm. like she can be whatever that is and whatever it is is beautiful. Yeah. But I feel like exposing her to this yeah. world yes. will, will change that for mm-hmm. her in a way that I can never get back. Right? Yeah. And that's what like, scares yeah. me about it. I feel it. like looking back on like, going through puberty yeah. and, and stuff as when we were younger without social media yeah. was hard enough. Yeah. Yes. I was comparing myself yes. like crazy to let's say like Pam in my yeah. class. Of course. That curly yeah. blonde hair that I wanted. Yeah. Now, yeah. like, you know, yeah. our daughters are looking at like Kylie Jenner right. and like yeah. these unrealistic, yes. like, you know, yes. and that's yeah. who they're comparing themselves with. Right. So right. I mean, it was hard enough before and now it's like coming at you. Yeah. Well, even like to glamorize having a child at 20 years old or 19, no. whatever she was when her daughter was born and making it look like such a magical, yeah. easy, 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 you yeah. know, yeah. fantastic idea is like, no. No, no, that's like I don't, I don't, no. I don't want that. She's got but five four nannies, nannies five yeah. nannies. It's yeah. like that's what's out there, right? Nobody yeah. sees what's yeah. behind that, yeah. exactly. right? And so to try to explain to someone who's twelve or thirteen that, like, well, actually, like, it's like yeah. fuck you, mom. Like, that's yeah. not. I'm gonna do what I want, right? So it's like, I'm so grateful to your point that I grew up at a time where this did not exist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I, you know, when I hear about these kids, you know, committing suicide, it's like I get it. I get yeah. that. It's such yeah. a hard time. And now you're yeah. inundated with all of this shit yeah. that makes you feel not good enough. Yeah. And even with moms, you know, moms yeah. who are killing themselves, like inundated yeah. with all this information that says, if you don't breastfeed, if you yeah. don't do this, mm-hmm. if you co-sleep, if you, you know, whatever the shit yeah. is yeah. that people are telling you is wrong, mm-hmm. you know, and you don't have the right support. Like, yep. I yeah. get it. Right. Yeah. Like, I get sure. it. Yep. Yeah. So it's crazy. So you make mm-hmm. delicious cupcakes. Which I we do. Stuff our face full. <laughs> really stuff my it's face funny because as Carrie pulls out her salad, <laughs> yeah, right. salad. Me, that way I can have the cupcakes. Let me so. get my salad first. So let me just preface by saying I have the cupcake first, and if there's room for the salad, then I have it after. No, that's how I live my yeah. life. So it's funny because we posted on our Instagram a thing about cake, yeah. and I thought of you immediately because anytime I've thought about eating well or anything and I do generally yeah it's always just like no I will always have the cupcake yeah if the option is there and the cupcake is made by Krista I will always (laughs) Always have the the cupcake cupcake. Mm -hmm. yeah it's all about balance right like you have to indulge like I I do but some cupcakes taste like absolute shit so I have to say right it's not worth the indulgence right the calories is totally wasted I have had cupcakes from other places and I've literally like I've even told her and I said I'm not saying this to you because you're my friend yeah. I threw it in the garbage because it's yeah. not worth if I'm gonna indulge like I want to enjoy it yes. yeah. it's yeah. not worth it yeah. then yeah. Yeah. so I bought vegan cupcakes from a place I won't say where it was from you can shake it that's all good <laughs> um, she's shaking her sound um, and I took one bite and you've ruined me forever because I was like this is garbage and I paid ten dollars for four and I was like oh this God. is going in the garbage because yeah. it tastes totally awful and even my children now are like who made these? <laughs> like it's prefaced by like who made yeah. these? Did your friend make these? And it's like have, oh, I'll, it's, have I'll have it. <laughs> but if we, if she didn't, then no. Yeah, yeah. My kids are the same. They're they become snobs, cupcake snobs. Of course. They say it at birthday parties, and I'm like, oh god, please don't, please don't. And then they're oh like, god. oh, did where did you get these? Did my oh, mom? my mom didn't make them. No, thank you. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's amazing. They're well trained. No, well, that's a good sign of, like, success, right? Like, in my mind, I would think, well, I'm doing something right because yeah. they don't need anyone else. Yeah, I mean, it's just important for me, like, that it tastes good. At the end mm-hmm. of the day, yeah. it's got to look nice, but mm-hmm. it's got to taste good. If it doesn't taste good, it's not worth it. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely, absolutely. So what about this business makes you happy? <laughs> is it a love of cake that made you want you know to do what? it? I or is really, it... really do love baking. Like there's, yeah. there's not much else in the world that I love the way yeah. that I love it. Um, some people calming. find that it's relaxing. I was just going to say some people I find did, that it's yeah, relaxing. Like I started baking 
uh, probably f- 15 years ago because I had such bad anxiety. Yeah. Um, and a therapist that I had gone to said that it's, baking will help because mm-hmm. it's so precise. You yeah. have to think about it when you're baking. It's not like yeah. cooking where you just kind of throw stuff together yeah. and yeah. it'll come together. Yes. Um, it's not mindless. Like you have to focus. And yeah. so it helped me. It helped me take my mind off of other things. And, um, and I just loved it. I loved it so much. It was so calming. It was my space and it was my time. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I just, it just became me. Like I was yeah. known for like, and why not turn it lady. Yeah. And, like, and why okay. not turn it into something yeah. that allows you to stay home and be <laughs> there for your kids? So how did you like, did you, um, did all those recipes like just come naturally to you early on? So a, a lot of it, a lot of the recipes I did get a lot from my grandma um, <clears throat> and playing around with stuff. Like I'd, I'd make a recipe, like I'd find a recipe and I'd make it and I'd be like, no, this is not good. Right. Um, and having a background in culinary, I kind of knew what it needed to have. So it's kind of always start everything. Like <clears throat> a lot of them have the exact same base yes. and then I just change them. I right. change them up. I add a little bit more of this, a little bit of less of that. Um, but a lot of them start from the same place and it's just about playing around with it. Yeah. Play around with it. If it tastes good, you're good to go. Um, yeah. I'm also, my mind never stops. So I'm always thinking of what's next. What can I do that'll set me apart from the other bakers. Like or, cupcakes in a jar. I yeah, like and the cupcakes in a jar. In a jar. Yeah. And it's just like, I always want to be different. And I really do get joy in like almost every cake or order that I do. Like, say, example, on the weekend, the person will message me and they'll be like, Yeah. It's usually good. <laughs> <laughs> usually positive. No. Nine out of ten. Nine, yeah. Times. Yeah. Um, and I do. I really like, it does something for me. It does something for my mood and my like positivity when they're like yeah. it was amazing my guest enjoyed it it looked beautiful it tastes beautiful and you know and then I really like I'm not as good as carry at marketing um I just I feel like I don't have time and I just don't know how to do it mm-hmm. so everything is referrals which yeah. is amazing that yeah. you is. And, and that's yeah. a testament to your skill because yeah. Word of mouth has propelled you to a right. place where you are well known as the cupcake lady. Yeah. Not only amongst adults who are paying you, but their children. Yeah. <laughs> who are requesting that yeah. the, it's the cupcake lady that's made their cupcakes. But I know cupcakes. that I could get to the next level. For if, sure. If I did focus. But again, it's the struggle. Like, I don't have... I feel like I have to pick it's and choose. It's hard when you're one person, though. Yeah. yeah. Right? yeah. Like, like I could hire problem. somebody, but then... Then it takes money that I yeah. would prefer to spend on shopping. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. And yeah. I, and then I just I'm like okay one day one day and that yeah. one day and then it becomes like a year later and so yeah one day maybe I'll try and market a little bit different. But yeah. the nice thing like for Carrie's type of business is she gets to ship mm-hmm. worldwide, you yeah. know, and she's yeah. so good at that. But I it's just local for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. CC's cook. Who's Cece? <laughs> so Cece's Cece? a nickname. Okay. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, I had this alter ego in one of my relationships. Um, so when I got moody like and Like Beyonce cranky, style? Yeah. Like Sasha Fierce, Beyonce, yeah, exactly. your Kristen, <laughs> Cece. I love that. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and he he would call me Cece and he would like, oh, Cece's coming out. Nice. And, I love uh, it. And it just kind of stuck with me for a while and... Then when I was like, oh, I want to change the name. I never loved Couture Cupcake. I yeah. never loved it. It was kind of just like, I picked a name fast. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and my all-time favorite movie is Beaches. Yes. And, oh, <laughs> and so Cece good. Bloom right. is in there. And I was like, this is me. I don't yeah. care. This is we what it's going to be. We have to watch it. <laughs> I'm like, obsessed with that movie. I love it. I've I own seen it, it on like, so that's long. My, like, and that's my like, like crying, like when I want yes. to have like a good cry. Yes. Yeah. And like, it is I so good. It's yeah, such an awesome, it's amazing, it is so awesome. It is so awesome. It is good. So it kind of just okay. fell. Like the yeah. name kind of just stuck, and then I wanted to rebrand. I always wanted to rebrand. I just I was scared. Like I said to Carrie, I'm like I don't want people to think like Couture Cupcake is gone. Yes. Yeah. Like how do I do this? Right. And then you know it took me a couple of months to decide like what am I gonna do? And I'm like you know what fuck it I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it and hope for the best. And I don't even think many people even remember Couture Couture, Couture. Couture. Yeah. Like it's just yeah. kind of been 
Gone. left behind mm-hmm. um and i love like i love the logo mm-hmm. um, yeah. so amazing. Super cute. it is good but yeah like I, I had someone i love to support like local moms um it's really big for me and yeah. i had a local mom lena she owns muse and uh, she did my first logo she's done pretty much all my stuff yeah and i said to her i want something fresh and clean and trendy and yeah. she came up with this and i was like i love it that's yeah, amazing. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So. so I have to um, maybe put you a little bit more on the spot yeah. by saying when you post things about, you know, having a, a little girl over to your house to teach her how to bake <laughs> mm-hmm. or have a workshop for kids who have, you know, sensory yeah. issues. Um, I cry every time you post things <laughs> I like that. Cry. Because I know. I always I, I Nobody does that. Mm-hmm. Like, who does that? And I think about that when I see these things. Yeah. And I just have to say to you, like, yeah. you are incredible yeah. for doing that. That yeah. is way beyond just yeah. having a business. Yeah. That's amazing. I think a lot of it comes from, as a child, like, I felt really isolated for just different reasons. Um, and my middle son, like, he he was isolated for so long just yeah. because, like, He's gifted, but along with that comes like sensory issues right. and um, yeah. self-regulation and emotional stress, and yeah. he just never fit in. I mean, he's doing amazing now, but like for th- the last three years, it was a struggle, and I yeah. saw like he had no friends, and you know, it was like I want everyone to be included. Like, yeah, you know, if, whatever it is, like that's kind of why I started the vegan. Okay, just leave it. Yeah, just leave. We're good. That's amazing. (laughs) Um, But I have like I have one son who just got released, but he was anaphylactic to milk. Okay. Um, I have one son who's celiac, so it was like, what are they gonna eat? Right. They need to have stuff. And then I thought about all the other kids. Like I think about you know all the other kids, but um, the very first time I did something like that, it was actually not even self-provoked I got a call yeah um this is I think six years ago and there was a little girl at sick kids okay who was going into isolation for 30 days okay and all she wanted to do she had seen me somewhere like online and all she wanted to do was for me to come to sick kids and make chocolate mousse cake with her okay and I was like oh my god I, I, I can't do this yeah but I went there and it was just it was her and I in this little kitchen at Sick Kids, and I cannot even tell you how much that changed my life. I can't. I it was can. So humbling. Imagine. And yeah. um, unfortunately, she did pass away not too long after that. Oh. But it changed me. Yeah. yeah. It really did. It's like everyone has the time to give back. Yeah. Everybody. Like. Yeah. I don't even have time to like go to the gym. Like honestly, yeah. I try and promise Carrie I'm gonna go all the time, time and I never go. The same. She makes time for that. I just I honestly, her Insta story the other oh. day was like no gym, laptop yoga. I was yeah. like, what? She's ridiculous. I'm like, I know what? She does it. Everybody has an hour. Honestly, I was thinking. I'm like, I know where you live. I'm gonna come over for laptop <laughs> yoga. You better be careful because you don't live that far. No, no, and I'll sure. strap my baby on and come yeah. over for laptop yoga. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> She always finds the time, though. I do find it, like, I, I find it amazing that she yeah. does. Because I yeah. really would love to find the time as much as I hate the gym. Yes. Make the time. Because you, find, you can I find don't have the, time. the time. You do. Yeah. You do. Yeah. It's so funny because we were. <laughs> one hour on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Well, you I know do that while I'm gym. peeing and like. Well, you know what's <laughs> great about oh, the, new, stuff in the, the new iPhones? It'll tell you how much time you spend no, on your I phone. Have that. I set yep. a cat for thirty minutes for Instagram for myself. Yeah. Because sometimes I. It's a hole. It's a hole. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's yeah. another thing I yeah. found after leaving my job. Yeah. And some days I started to put my phone in another room. Yeah. Because yeah. some days I end up on. A bachelor contestant's <laughs> sisters, like for real, sisters <laughs> Instagram <laughs> page, and I, I, I have to check myself. How did I get like, here? Who am I? What is <laughs> wrong with me? Why am I doing yes. this? Yes, it's like such a time suck. Sometimes. Yeah, and yeah, if it's like marketing or if it's like for the mm-hmm. business, it's fine. But yeah. but you can so justify it, right? It's mm-hmm. like oh, it's I'm so working, I'm clicking, 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 yeah. clicking, and yeah. then I'm like somewhere else. Yeah, it's fascinating so, though. I'm not gonna lie, I do. Yeah, I am like so into. Yeah, some of other, these people's yeah. lives. Oh, yeah, for sure. And so that's why I, I, I set that timer th- for myself. 
for myself mm-hmm. too. So I'm like, yeah. some days I just, I just have to put it in the other room. Mm-hmm. So it's funny that you say that because one of my things is like not having my phone on me. Mm-hmm. Like that's one of my that's resolutions. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, this year I've been doing pretty okay with it. But mm-hmm. one day, like two weeks ago, I took my kids to school and there was no school. But I didn't know because I didn't look at my phone. <laughs> 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 And we got we got there, and I was oh, like, yeah. "Oh, amazing. there's no one here." And <laughs> Daniel's amazing. like, "Didn't you look at your phone?" I was like, "No, I was having a really good morning. I didn't pick up my phone once. I was really proud of myself. Showed up with Shit. my kids at school. That's amazing. My friends are like." Or a loser. Oh, I'm like, yep, yeah, that's me. Yeah. But I didn't pick up my phone that day, so that's that was that's really good. That, was, that was really good. But yeah, I do think that you make time for what you want, right? I think it's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't. I'm not good at. I don't. I I'm like. Not good at I don't like my the time. gym, and I think that's why I don't make the time. Well, I you can find something that you like to. I don't know anyone. Do you like the gym? She loves the gym. Okay, but do you only do yoga? She's weird. Oh, I just started. So the yoga thing, I only started in January. It was kind of like my like New New Year's thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, even like in like November. Yeah. I don't know if you guys follow like Rachel Hollis. Yes. So anyway, so that five, the five to five and also the, um, she was her whole like last 90 days. Right. Right. Yeah. So yep. she was trying, her whole thing is like, you know, let's use the last 90 days of this year and make it amazing instead of just making it like throw away. Right. 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 And being, yeah. Like, like the year is almost done. Well, yeah. Done. Yeah. So one of her things and, and like, I do like, I listen to a lot of different, um, sort of what I find inspiring or motivational podcasts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a lot of them all, like a lot of these women wake up earlier before anybody their kids. else is awake. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's their time. And either they yes. journal or they do some, they yes. do yoga mm-hmm. or they meditate mm-hmm. or they do whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so I try to do that because I, I'm not a morning person. I hate waking up early, but yeah, I was like too. forcing myself. Yeah. So now it's a way, cause I used to always say like, I don't have time to journal, like I wanted to start doing more gratitude journals and um, yes. doing even just like 10, 15 minutes yoga in the morning right? Um, by myself. And I always can say, like, I don't have the time. Like, I can't. There's no way I can fit yeah. more thing in. Yes. So I did start waking up earlier. The okay. problem is now my children today, my, my children now start waking, waking up, up with and you. I said, like, I am not waking up early so I can mom for longer. <laughs> like, <laughs> Because otherwise, I'd rather just us all be asleep. Yeah, did you get right? the memo? Like, like this, this is, is me time. This is mom in time. Like, yeah. this is, yeah. like, for me. So yeah. I started waking up earlier, and then I've been doing, I've been, like, journaling and doing, like, 10, 15 minutes of yoga just, like, on, like, YouTube or whatever. Amazing. And it's just been really good. Plus, because, like, even just, like, I'm just, like, super tight, obviously. Yeah. Like, and stuff like that. Yeah. I have issues. So yeah. it's just been helpful for me. Yeah. Um, but the extra time, that's the one, like, big takeaway of from that. Yeah. yeah. And that's something that I'm sort of wor- now, like I, my baby is a Velcro baby. Yeah. I'm trying to work that into my life with him. Right. Like I find it so interesting through the stages of your children's lives, mm-hmm. how you have to adapt your own mm-hmm. self care because yeah. it looks yeah. different yeah. all mm-hmm. the time. Yeah. And I think that one of the things that happened for me when I became a mom for the fourth time was I lost mm-hmm. my ability to make that time for self care mm-hmm. because I, I didn't know how, yeah. Like, I had no idea how I was even going to fit it in. Like, I, yeah. I wasn't even having a shower on a regular yeah. basis. Mm-hmm. So it was like, how yeah, am I going to take care of myself? Do you know what I mean? So one thing that I've learned in just, like, having dialogues with other women, it's like, you have to sort of evolve the way mm-hmm. you care for yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if it is, like, sitting alone in a dark room, you oh, know, gosh, yeah. scrolling yeah. Instagram yeah. or whatever so you need to do that yeah. day, yeah. like, that's just what you do, right? Yeah. And my goal eventually is to get to a place where yeah. I'm doing more positive things. Right. But it's like, this is what's working for me today. And I do yeah. love the gym. Like, I'm one of those people that I do yeah. love going to the yeah. gym. Like, if I, I really like, like it. Like, it really actually, and it helps me, like, yeah. with my, like, stress. Like, I always tell her, mm-hmm. and yeah. like, I, I would not, I can't like handle half of my life if I if I don't work out yeah. well, it's not yeah. I don't even need to be exerting myself that much but yes. I need that time or I yeah. actually get like super bitchy and I get in this really bad place yeah um so I feel like I, I, I need the endorphins like I yeah need and I grew up with a mother who worked out like crazy mm-hmm. and she sort of conditioned me 
from a young age Mm -hmm. to be like, you know, the way that we feel better Mm -hmm. and the way that we deal with our stress is we go and exercise. Mm -hmm. Like she would take me through my teen years to the gym. And I think as a result of that, Mm -hmm. like that's why I associated that with feeling good about myself or like dealing with things. Right. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I found so challenging in like being a mom, is like having that time for myself to actually do that because it's like, I really don't. Like when I can't. Kids were young, I didn't. I yeah. stopped going to the gym too. And right. I think that also which is detrimental, right? It contributed yeah. to me being in like a bad place. Yes. And like mm-hmm. not being myself and not feeling like me. Well, and your body is all fucked up. It's like whose body is this? Yeah. Like yeah. what is happening? Like yeah. this yeah. doesn't feel like my own. Yeah. Like I've and had just so not many having your own identity. Like yeah. and that's just one more thing that yes. used to be who you were. Yeah. And now it's it's not so it belongs there. to someone yeah. else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's what I find with breast feeding too and I know you mm-hmm. went through a long journey of breastfeeding oh, your last yeah. child I think you are still breastfeeding are you no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm not <laughs> she gave me so, oh, such a hard time because I was always like I was always like no I don't know how people breastfeed their kids when they can ask year. for it yeah, I'm right. like that is so wrong yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you my first one a year. And then I, I literally had to do a nine-hour strike right. for him to stop. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay. So the next one, I got smarter. I'm like, no, no, no. You're having formula at night. Yeah. And you were having the boob during the day. Yeah. Perfect. Then he weaned himself at eight months. And I was like, oh, that's so early. I don't yeah. know. So by the third one, I'm like, okay, no bottle. Like, no formula. Just yeah. pumped milk. Yeah. So, I would sit for an hour and pump, get like two drops every single time. I'm like, forget this. You know what? I'm just gonna give him the boob. And ten his years third later, birthday, <laughs> on his third birthday, I'm like, this is no more. Yeah. He's three and a half, and every day he still asks for it, and every day I have to tell him no. But he thinks he like, would, like hit her. Yeah. Oh, he was like, just picture like Chucky going at you, like right at your neck, like that's. He would get so angry when I said no. It was like... But isn't it so funny how we like look at other moms like, yeah. you're breastfeeding a toddler. Yeah. I will never do that. Yeah. And then we get yeah. to a place where, and oh, I'm even, crossing yeah. this road. And I'm, you don't even I'm know how you got road. there. <laughs> Every single person I knew would be like... But it was really... I'll tell you what made me really stop was like, this is going to... Can we go like yeah, sexual all the way, here? Yeah. Okay. So I was single, a yeah. single from when he was three months old, yes. and I would like I would date, and it would become you know it would get to that point, and it would be yeah. like oh, I'm not comfortable in my body, like I've yes. got these ginormous yeah. like yeah. saggy, long, like deflated, milk filled boobs. I'm yeah. like this is not attractive. That like, might who's gonna want to be? Sex. Yeah, <laughs> that might and have maybe not yeah. leaked during sex. Yeah, but right. um. And then, like, my relationship I'm in now started around when Finn was just about to turn three. And I'm like, no. You know what? I don't need to be ashamed of this anymore. Like, I... And I wouldn't even tell him. Like, I wouldn't even tell him. I was embarrassed to tell him that I was still nursing right. my three-year-old. And I'm like, no, okay. How didn't he see that? Like, how? Well, because we didn't live together. <laughs> and uh, and then once I knew he was going to be around, I'm like, no, Finn, sorry, but, dude, these are not yours anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking them back. They're mine, and, and I'm sure yeah. I'm with Greg. And it was it. hard, though. It broke my heart, honestly. Yeah. It's, it's such a weird feeling yeah. to be like, you can't have my boobs anymore. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. And, and to this day, he will literally ask, and he'll look at other women's boobs and like, <laughs> yeah, he's like boob obsessed. I better so stay awake because yes. I'm lactating. <laughs> I won't come around. He would, he would, He'll he doesn't smell judge. it. You got boobs? He's good. It's our milk. I'll take it's it. Awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. But it's such a weird duality I find with breastfeeding because it's like breasts are so sexualized mm-hmm. and then we're supposed to just feed our kids with them. It's yeah. Like, it's like, what? It is, it's like, so this is up. My ex-husband, such a weird wouldn't, thing. he couldn't even look at them after. Yeah. After Please? my first, he, after my first and I started nursing, he was like, no. Nah. I don't see you like that anymore. Wow, which that's was a huge part of failure. Why of you're marriage. Not, not together? Why we're anymore. not married? Yeah. But for him, it was like that. That whole sexual side of it was gone. Yeah, I mean, I could see that. Yeah, like for me and my relationship today, it's sort of like when we're 
intimate. I'm, I'm yeah. just like, just, you know, Don't it's going it. to leak. Skip it's it. just, yeah. we'll just <laughs> move on now. <laughs> like, that's okay. Just go down that way. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't be scared. laughs> but it's like, you know, with, with, with us, it's like, I've been pregnant or breastfeeding for three oh. years. So it's like this area yeah. has been <laughs> out of yeah. commission for a long ass time. <laughs> so it's, it's such a weird it thing, is. right? Yeah, like, it's like, are. this yeah. body is mine, but like, is yeah. it really? It's yeah. not. You know, it's yeah. not. So I, I did photos, like boudoir photos. Mm-hmm. You did, you yeah. did them. Yeah. And I did them yesterday. And oh, I was, did you? Yeah. Awesome. So I was, and I was thinking the same thing. I was like, oh my God, my body's so weird. And like one of the, like when we were shooting, I obviously wasn't with my baby. Yeah. So they were getting huge and then they're <laughs> leaking. I was like, this is the least sexy thing ever. But good for my confidence, but like yeah. not sexy for me. Really yeah, all. that's a really cool. big confidence booster, though. Yeah, like, just yeah. I highly recommend it. If you yeah. trust the photographer and you're comfortable, mm-hmm. yeah. I highly recommend 100%. it for sure. You have to have someone you're comfortable with. Yeah. Um, and and just but so good, like for so good, it was yeah. so good for me, anyways. Like just mm-hmm. for my self esteem, because like you know having two kids, to, mm-hmm. like yeah. two, one after the other, mm-hmm. and, like just mm-hmm. expanding, deflating, expanding, yeah. deflating. It's so <laughs> oh. Like, I don't know, you know. It's a miracle, honestly, what our bodies go through. Oh, yeah, Mm -hmm. for sure. It's crazy. For sure it is. Like, I can't believe what my body looks like. Like, I feel, like, I don't look like a supermodel, but I feel like a champion because, like, it's looking not so bad. Oh, yeah. Things are not hanging loose, so I feel pretty okay about that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very scared for my breasts, though. Like, I'm very terrified. Uh, That's the one thing that, yeah. 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 It's that like sucks. they get better. I find like they got better. Mine got better a little bit. No, they don't hang as much. <laughs> but no. see, so I always had small boobs, and I was always okay with me it too because they were up here. Yeah, oh. and <laughs> cute because and small boobs are fine. Yes, if they're up here. Yeah, not when you're like dangling it. Like I, I describe <laughs> it as like a feather yeah. filled. Uh, water balloon yeah. and you're holding it <laughs> from the top part yeah. yeah and so it's like flat 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 and then just a little something so I'm like now it's yeah. like horrifying yeah I'm terrified for it because like I, I've been an A cup my whole life happy with my little yeah, A cup I was cup, okay with cute, it I never like I never but yeah now I'm not I'm not okay yeah, after I had my first two, I can remember, like, when I would lie on my side, it looked like a sandbag. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was a small sandbag that was, like, very fun. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was single, and I was horrified. I was like, oh, my God, this is so bad. So now I can't even imagine. Yeah. Like, I'm terrified. Mine actually I did sleep the with a bra on. I sleep yeah. with a light sports bra because yeah. I can't. Yeah. I cannot. Yeah. I, like... Um, so my stomach is not loose. totally flat. So I, like, I do it in my sleep where I'm like not totally a- asleep but not totally awake. Where I pull my pants up above my belly button yeah. in my like when I'm sleeping because like I have to, yeah. Yeah. like to yeah. be comfortable. Yeah. I don't yeah. understand. I need to hold everything in. Yeah, everything's yeah. gotta yeah. be yeah. in. Yeah. 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 Crazy. It's I lost crazy. like half the size of my boobs. Like I Me always too. had, but huge, but but I had big ones. When you have <laughs> almost nothing to work with, it's not good. No, but I, but it's a blessing it actually because I hated my boobs growing up. Yeah, hated them. I I yeah. felt like like I would I played soccer and I would literally I would put two sports bras on and then I would tense tensor bend. bandage. I had a friend and who was I hated like that. them so much. And growing up like. I'd be like 17 and I could tell like older men just like staring yes. at your boobs. Yes. It's because that's all they see. Yes. And I hated it. I couldn't yep. wear tank tops because I'd look yep. like a hoochie. Yeah. But now I'm like, oh, they're just oh, normal. And we grew up in the day of tube tops. So yeah. I say, yes. Oh, no. I always I wanted wear to wear a tube top. Yeah. But couldn't. I couldn't yeah, wear anything I had a friend strapless. Like that. Like, and I hated it. I honestly hated it. And then now they're just like a normal size and, and they're, they're saggy, but they're, they're better. They're not touching your waistband. Yeah. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not today. I wish you could just pull it all up and then. Yeah, I remember good. watching this movie in my 20s um, called, I think it was called The Sweetest Thing with Cameron Diaz. Oh, yeah. Oh. And she was like 20, I just 30, yeah, I that. 20, yeah. 30. And then she was like, what is this? When did I get <laughs> this arm? And she's like, uh, you know, yeah. like. Like that flinging her arm so fat, awesome. and I was like, I just oh. watched it back on Netflix. Is it? Yeah. 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 Is it? Oh, I'm yeah. going to have to watch it. I haven't watched yeah. it in a long time. But that's what I think of when I look at my body. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this is yeah. the 30s body. Yes. Yeah. 
after children. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the gym is definitely something I'm looking forward to. Yeah. I'm living vicariously sometimes through your Instagram <laughs> posts of like, oh, she's yeah, going no. to the gym. One, <laughs> one day I will be there. She's doing her laptop yoga. She just stopped. So That's she used good. to actually motivate me to go. Yeah. And she'd be like, okay, I'm going. And then I would go. And then some days I'd be like, no. And I'd have like this long excuse. And I'm like, why? And then now she doesn't even bother. <laughs> you're even going to ask. Or not. Well, you never want to harass, right? No. You never no, want to I need want that choice, harass though. make people feel bad. Or no. to make you feel like you have to give an yeah. excuse. Because I don't want you to feel like it's another thing. No, I know. Do. I and feel like it's a slippery slope with the gym. Like someone recently asked me to work out with them. Mm-hmm. And I did it once mm-hmm. with someone, and then I felt like I was, to your point, like harassing mm-hmm. them to come, yeah. and then they were feeling bad, and then they were yeah. making up excuses about why they didn't want to come, and I knew yeah. they, were, they were lying, but yeah. I didn't tell them that I knew yeah. they were lying. Yeah. yeah. And then it was all uncomfortable, yeah, so I was yes. like, I think it's just better. If, yeah. You know. Just go. Yeah. Alone. Just go. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like a soul. I thing. did love it, though, when... Um, I had a personal, like I went to a personal trainer like yes. last year. Yes. For about six months. I saw the most definition I've seen in my life. Yeah. Um, because you're probably the most consistent. Yeah, I was you, so consistent because, because I had these appointments. Yes. And you paid for and it. I paid mm-hmm. for it, but also yeah. because he would get mad. <laughs> he would get mad if I wasn't coming. And so I mm-hmm. had this commitment to this person. Yeah. Um, and then, well, yeah. That's so why personal I training works. Yeah, it's true. Why, it's so yeah. true. It's that's just, it's a huge so business, business, right? Yeah. I know. It but, is so But expensive. I have to say it was really, really, I would do it again. Yeah, me too. I had one too. And, and I found that for me, I don't know if this is, uh, says something about who I am. I don't know. But for me, personal training only works for me if it's a dude. Mm-hmm. Like I can't, I'm not motivated by no. another woman. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's because I'm like looking at her body and I'm like, oh, I don't want my body to look yeah. like that. Yeah. Where like with a dude, it's like, oh, my body's not going to look yeah. like his anyways. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know but if I've that's what it is, like but I really. Women, I just usually gravitate to men for different things yeah. like that. Even friendships growing up, like 90% yeah. of my friends were guys and it was just because I don't do the like caddy or like high maintenance or like mm-hmm. drama. Like I can't do any yeah. of that. Yeah. Me neither. I have no, no time for yeah. it. I don't and now like at our age, it's different. We don't really have as many male friends, I guess, just because of the, I guess the stereotype. And so I just have less friends. <laughs> yeah. Well, because can you be friends with a man when you're older? And you know what? Personally, I'm those... growing up like now and this, I, no. No, I don't think it's possible. They always have different expectations. My thing is, like, I don't think it's possible. It's very difficult to find someone of the opposite sex that can just be your friend. Yeah. Yeah. That's just my experience and my perception. Yeah. Some people don't share it, but it is. Especially when you have kids and stuff, I feel like, why would I Although I'd really like to be friends with Chris Crocker. Have you followed? Do you guys follow him? Who's that? He's on, he has, like, a social media account, but you got to follow him. So, like, he's very flamboyant. Um, but he just posts videos and he's just, I'm like, I could be his friend. Yeah. Any day of the week. Yeah. Like, but does he do anything or he's just gay? Yeah. Um, he was an <laughs> adult film star at one point. Oh. Um, <laughs> Googling. But not, but not now. So you're the only one that knows about him. Curious horrified. No. First um, of all. gay adult film star. We were like, no, we've never heard of him. Like, I'm thinking but he's, he's all like, over Facebook. like, frontlining this, oh. like, popular bands that were yeah. like, oh, yeah, yeah, like we're really out of touch. We have no idea who he's. Oh, he's a former <laughs> porn star, oh, okay. guys. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> oh my, he is so funny. Anyways, oh, he's very handsome. But as a guy, yeah. I could be friends okay. with him. Like he does videos, and he's like living a woman's life. I see in this. Guy's this is body. awesome. Okay, yeah. I think too, it's that so much too. Like half, like I don't know, half the things I'm texting my friends about or talking to my friends about it's like venting or writing yes. kids stuff by them it's like yeah. mom stuff or whatever yeah. right and I just yes. the guy yeah. I would just be like I don't care what you're talking shit. about yeah. and that's yeah. just gonna yeah. piss me off yeah. yeah and then yeah for sure you know for sure so yeah I find like none of my none of the things I have to talk about are really that interesting to someone who's a dude <laughs> like, I feel like nothing <laughs> I talk about is interesting to anybody <laughs> I know sometimes I look at Daniel and I'm like, are you awake? Because I'm still talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no. I know. Come on. It's like, yeah. you know. Guys I, just don't know too. It's just them. Well, it's like I spend all my day here, right? And when the weather's <laughs> shit like this, like I don't have anywhere to go. You I'm know like, what? No fight about tomorrow. I know. Oh, no, so please. I'm like, God, first off, like let there be school. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have shit to my do. God, like, yeah, we've had two. On Friday, and, and on Monday. Monday. I know. And we've already had two. 
And then we had the snow day the week that they had the PA day. Oh, yes. yeah. Like, what, so, what are you trying to do like, to me? No, you need to go to yeah. school. Yeah. So I'm like... I know. Terrified that it's going to be a snow day. I know. <laughs> Can't be. On the freezing rain day, Daenerys decided to do the playing with the toilet water pee situation, <laughs> eating tons of candy. So Melissa and I went to a play place. <laughs> we like dragged our kids out in the freezing rain. It was horrible. But we were the only people there. Oh, that's great. Right. That's nice. Though. We yeah. spent four hours at the play place. Oh yeah. I, I came home. That. Daniel was here. He's like, "Where did you go?" And I was like, yes. "Play place." I went to the play place. <laughs> yes. I could not stay here yeah. any longer. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, what's up. Being cooped yeah. up. Oh, yeah. I can't. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Well, this was lovely, ladies. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you Thanks for joining for us. So just to clarify, Carrie, you have hand-to-heart jewelry. We can yeah. find you on Instagram. Yeah. Still Facebook? Yeah. And, and hand-to-heartjewelry.com. Yep. Yeah. And Krista is CC's Cupcakes. Yeah. Instagram? Yes. Facebook? Yes. No website yet. Yeah, we have a website. You have a website. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. CeCe'sCupcakes.com. Okay. She makes the yeah. legit best cupcakes <laughs> cakes of your life. Legit. I'm not saying it because she's super fun and smart and amazing. <laughs> it's actually true. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everyone's vegan. Yeah. Yeah. And she does vegan, vegan <laughs> which is amazing. We love her even more for that. Yeah. So thank you so, so much, ladies, for Thanks taking for the time us. and chatting with us. us. Have a great day. You too. You too.